that he went and did the seva of his of his ser of Jira, or the servant or he went and did the seva for him so that he wouldn't get into any problem and this happens in Gursik we had it in Gursik so we have had it here recently as well they, they, did, they might have been at work and they've not been able to do it and the, 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 the manager came up and patted him on the back and said what an awesome job that was he goes I didn't do it he goes yeah yeah the manager goes yeah yeah you know, the, the gun was done you know? and it's a it's, it's pet. When we ask that question, when we want to be happy and sicky, do we ever do? Do we have to do sicky in a way where you lose track of what it is? And that's a really nice place to be, you know. It's the best place to be. But all the heads, you know, mind runs away. Doesn't. But it might take time, whatever. But it's when you love, you have to love it that much that you lose it. Then things start happening. You won't explain, be able to explain. You know? Today, I'm going to talk about um, Bhagavadashi, just because. Bhagavad Gita is not talked about enough, and I'm just going to go briefly. This is in, in Wikipedia, anyway, you can read it. But you know, Bhagavad Gita, he was born in 1551 in Goindwal, in a small village. And at his first, he was, a, he was actually the first cousin of Guru Amar A lot of people don't know this about Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is actually born in the time when Guru Angad Dev Ji was the guru. When Guru Angad Dev Ji was the guru, huh? so he went. He actually done darshan. You could say he might now have got full darshan as a kid, small child, but he is actually in the times of five gurus, whereas Baba Buddha he was six gurus, and we know that. But at, if you at the end of it, so just to co cover in 1951 in Goindwal, and when we go to Goindwal, I don't know, most people might have gone there, but in Amritsar, when you go to the Goindwal, that's where the 84 steps are. So that's the Gurdwar you recognize it as. But in, in Goindwal, a lot of things happen there from a Sikh history point of view, a lot of things. Gurus, there's Gurus Anandakaraj was there, so Gurus were made Gurus there, Jyoti um, Jyotri, everything, there's a lot of things that happen in the Gurus you know? And he's orphan at the age of 12, um, and he was adopted by his uncle, Guru Amar Dasji. Now, he learned Sanskrit, Vrita Pasha, Persian, Punjabi, Gurmukhi, and eventually became a, preaching, a preacher in Sikhism. Now, he lost his mother at the age of 5 as well, you know? I think he was 5. Um, but he listed scholars, swamis, he learned many things. Now this, I'm going to cover, the reason why I'm going over this, I'm going to cover some of his writings today in a little bit more detail, but, and they're very, very, they're, you'll find them very fascinating. Huh? The, <coughs> as Guru Amar Dashi was sick, uh, the successor of Guru Ram Dashi, appointed by Guru Dashi in Agra. So you know where Taj Mahal is, Agra, that, by Guru Dashi did a lot of prajara in Agra. Um, in, in 1577, he contributed his labor to um, excavating the Amritsar Sarovar. Um, and 20 years later, he went on an expedition to Kartarpur, recited many of the early hymns to Emperor Akbar. So Akbar had come and said, this, there is blasphemy in, that, in, those, in those writings of your gurus. And he says that they have blasphemy because all the Sikhs are going to have to pay. Bhai Gurdashi went there and read, read it all to him. And, and afterwards, Akbar was actually a very, very close associate with Sikh. Sikh. He, let Sikh he let Sikhs do a lot of things, you know, while he was in, in Raj. Um, because there was a lot of anti-Muslim suggestions and that kind of thing. But after Guru uh, Ram Das Ji, um, Bhai Guru Das Ji formed a really close relationship with Guru Arjun Dev Ji. Now that was a really beautiful relationship. And that's a Sikh with the Guru. And Guru Arjan Dev Ji actually recited the Bani to Pai Gurdashi and Pai Gurdashi wrote it. And that's the first, the Aadha Granth, you don't get the Aadha Beat of Maharaj. That's Guru, it's actually Pai Gurdashi who compiled that. Now if you read Bani, Guru Ji says, if you write Bani, if you write it, it actually has a very, very profound effect on your mind as well, writing it. We don't write it much now, we don't bother. The writing of Gurbani and treating that with the respect, it actually has a big spiritual effect on you. Um, so, Bhai Gurdashi wrote it and actually took him 19 years, it says. 19 years it took him to do that. And Guru Arjun Dev Ji had a lot of respect for him. And Bhai Gurdashi, Bhai Gurdashi was actually Guru Arjun Dev Ji's uncle. Um, so, it was um, Bhai Gurdashi's. Baran, when Guruji read them, Guruji said, I want to put those Vara into the Guru Granth Sahib and make in the Ard Granth at the time, you know, the, the, the Ard Granth. Bhai Gurdashi in Nimrata said, I don't want you to do that. He 
said, that's a Guru's Bani, the Bhagat Bani, he goes, I'm not worthy of you putting those writings in. Guruji was, didn't want to do it, Guruji wanted to put, place it, but Guruji said to him, we'll leave it out then, and but he says, that is the key to understanding the Guru Granth Sahib. Because whoever goes through those writings, because the Guru Granth Sahib can be hard to understand in some areas, because to understand the essence of what Guru Granth Sahib is saying, because that's what those writings are. And if you try, if you go through them and you understand, they are absolutely fascinating things. And sometimes, I mean, I'm finding that there's things there that aren't, that you might not even be able to interpret in Guru Granth Sahib. And I'll show you a few of them in a minute. Huh? So he completed it in six, the Ard in 1604, took, and it took him nearly 19 years to complete this task. Um, but he, you know, he, after that, that's when he did the Kabit Savayye. So there's uh, 672 um, Kabits and 3 Savayye in the Brid Pasha, um, 6 Shans, and there's 40 Varan. And I think it's, I don't think it's correct, I think it's 39 were by 5 Gurudashi, and I think one was by 5 Gurudashi. Singh. But uh, 920 Boryan. And those Boryan, we've, we've, those who've come to the classes before, or come to the, not the last, before the Bhagat Kabiti one, we've uncovered some of Bhagat Gurudashi in that as well. Bhagat Gurudashi passed away in 1636 in Gorindavan. So again, it's an in, in, in important thing. Now, this is what I'm going to run through. These are his writings, and I'm, I'm going to run through the, these are the meanings of the writings. I want you to just think about these things for a minute. By, by Gurdashi's poetry and his ability to take worldly things, scientific things, and like even other religions, all of their philosophies, and put them into his writings, you, if, when you start going through it, you realize that his absolutely unbelievable amount of knowledge that he's got. Unbelievable. But we start with, um, this is one, uh, 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 but it, just as the wind from one direction causes rain, so it causes rain so that the drought goes away, you know? but there's another wind, it blows the clouds straight over, so imagine there's a drought. So the, a wind comes in and it blows, some blows, brings the clouds there and it starts raining, drought, There's another one where a person's sitting there thirsty, and the wind's actually blowing the clouds away. That's why well, that's saying, one's a good wind, it can marry you wind up. He says, there's another, there's water that brings health. Like in India, I think it's the Bombay water or, or in those regions, you drink that, product, your body goes messed up, chemicals and everything in it. There's some water, by Gurdash is saying, you drink it, it will give you your full health and you'll be very healthy. There's some water you drink, he could just give you like diseases. Then by the way, there's fire. He goes, we use fire every day. When I see everyone at home cooks and does all that. Fire under control, by the way, she's saying. If you have fire under control, then you can do all your all your garbage. You can make up food, we can we can make up the itta, the, the bricks and all that, make up your houses and all that, all use heat. He goes, there's other fire, he goes, it burns the whole house down and burn you and kill us as well. But by Gurdashi's point is, because there's a certain company of certain individuals, they liberate you while you're alive. Because you can be with someone and be close to them, then you'll get liberated by just being with them. Because there's other Sangat, you stand with them, you're going to get after this, after we pass away. So by Gurdashi, look how he used, like, the, the, but that's his style in his Kabit Sveji. And remember, the Sangat he's talking about, when we wrote about it, Sangat isn't just physical, as we know. Sangat is also, you know, our electronic stuff that we're using as well, and, and, you know, internet and telephones and all that. Then we've covered this one as well, the intensity. By the way, saying, if, if, um, if I, because I yearn to see the beauty of another's woman, because but with that same intensity, I didn't want the darshan of the Guru. That's what we do. We like, we, our eyes want to see all these evil things, but with that same intensity, we don't want to see darshan. Then by the way, he goes, I tentatively listen to slander. You don't, everyone knows that. Do you know when, as soon as someone starts talking about someone, nah, this is the idea of a conversation with them, kind of go, poo poo, radar, switches on. Huh? But by the way, say, when it's a shabd, or like, nah, nah, everyone's probably, I can see everyone's going with sleep. You know, did it, did it, when it's time to listen to the Guru's word, then the ears just go, oh, forget that, and think about something else. 
And then he's buying the blessing and make, everyone makes a great effort to go to someone's house to cheat them or get greed. Out of greed, you make loads of effort to go and scam someone. Because you don't use the same fare. You have to go to the Guru Sangat because the oh, same fare is not different. Oh, can they? Achha, five minutes late, ho gaya, rent ho. That's what they do. But when it's time to do scam, it's 15 minutes later, Mara still going to do it. Awesome, bad thing. Now, if I 